Hi everyone, I'm Katie, an infant toddler Montessori teacher and registered early childhood educator. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what self-care looks like for infants. So most of the self-care tasks that happen in infancy are going to be done by the adult, but it's important to remember that the infant can participate in very simple ways. So anytime you, the parent or caregiver, is doing something to care for the infant, invite them into the process by talking to them about what it is that you're doing. Tell them what you are doing to care for them. So rather than the infant lying there passively getting their diaper changed or getting dressed, talk to them. They want to be invited. They want to know what it is that's going on. So use really simple language to sort of talk them through it. So things like one, if you're changing their diaper, oh, I'm going to change your diaper now. Let's get on the change table. I'm going to take off your diaper. I'm going to wipe your bottom now, things like that. Uh, when you're getting dressed, you're telling them, let's put your arm through the sleeve. And this is so that you're basically setting the stage for them to be able to do these things for themselves later on. So once the infant is sitting up and you observe that they're bringing their hands to their face, you can introduce the concept of wiping their own face with a cloth. So all you need to do is get a regular sized washcloth and cut it down to size so that the it's going to be more manageable for the infant's hands. And then you just want to uh, get it a little bit wet wring it out so that it's not dripping or anything and then show them how that they can bring their hands up to their face and wipe and clean their face after a snack or a meal. Even better, if you wanna do this in front of a mirror so that they're able to see themselves, that's going to make, you know, create even more of a connection for them because they're going to be able to see their face going from dirty to clean. So initially you're going to probably be doing hand over hand. So you wanna gently put the cloth in their hand, put your hand over top of theirs and show them how to gently wipe their face. But eventually they are going to be able to do it for themselves. So you wanna make sure that you really take your time with it. Give them time to wipe their face for as long as they are interested, especially once they become interested in sort of doing it on their own. Um, there's some sort of learning happening there. So make sure that you give them the time and space to be able to do that rather than sort of rushing them through the process. The reason why this is a really great thing to introduce in infancy is because as a toddler teacher, I have met so many children who don't like getting their faces wiped um, after a snack or a meal. And um, it's really helpful when you show them, when you empower them to do that for themselves. Because oftentimes as adults, we can do it too quickly or we're maybe being a little bit too rough very unintentionally obviously but sometimes that can happen and so by showing the child how to do it for themselves you're really giving them you're telling them that you trust them to be able to do it for themselves now i know we're talking about infant age children here so it's going to be quite some time before they do it for themselves but it's really helpful to sort of set the stage for that type of learning now that type of self-care now all right so the next idea that i have for you is pulling off their socks when and getting undressed. Now this is something that just sort of happens on its own in infancy, doesn't it? You know, you know that your baby was fully dressed um, when you left to go to the park and by the time you got to the park, the socks are nowhere to be found. Now, if it's freezing cold, obviously you need to make sure that you put those socks right back on. But if the child is comfortable, I would draw attention to the fact that they figured out how to take their socks off all by themselves. Get down on their level and say something like, wow, you figured out how to take your socks off because it's a really, I mean, it's incredible if you think about it, even if they're not necessarily doing it consciously, it's pretty neat that they managed to sort of figure out how to do that for themselves. So that's definitely something that I would draw attention to. And when you are getting undressed, once you observe that um, the infant is starting to be able to sort of reach for their toes and things, you can definitely involve them in the process of taking off their socks. So, you know, remove the socks slightly so maybe they're just over their toes, and then again, hand over hand, bring their fingers to the end of that sock, 
and show them how to pull it off. As I said earlier, you know, initially you're definitely going to be helping them to take off their socks, but eventually they'll be able to do it for themselves. So it's important for me to end this off by just saying that self-care tasks are going to look different for every child and for every family. Really what you wanna do is you want to show your child how to care for themselves in the same way that you care for yourself because those are the self-care tasks that they're going to observe most often. So you wanna think about how you take care of yourself and figure out how to sort of break it down into manageable steps so that your child is going to be able to learn how to do it for themselves too. So like I said earlier, remember to take your time um, really allow the infant time to observe you taking care of yourself. You really are going to be their greatest role model in learning self-care tasks. So once you observe that your child is showing an interest in getting undressed and dressed on their own, we do have a step-by-step -step guide available in a blog post. It's called How to Teach Independent Dressing Step-by-Step and I will link to it in the description below. It's much easier for children to learn to get undressed versus dressed, so we always start with undressing because we always wanna set the child up for success. All right, well, that's it for today. I hope you found today's video helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, it really helps our channel if you like and subscribe. This helps other parents to find our channel. And if you have a question, feel free to comment your question below and we'll answer it in a future video. Take care. Bye.